Today, we will introduce Fluorescent Insider Hybridization Essay. There are four parts. What is FISH? The probes, the procedure of FISH and the applications. Fluorescent Insider Hybridization is a molecular cytogenetic technique, uses fluorescent probes that bind to only those parts of the chromosome with a high degree of sequence complementarity. The DNA contains two strand-like molecules coiled together into a structure known as a double helix. The bases in each strand are able to bind to each other and hold the DNA together. When two complementary sequences find each other they will bind together, or hybridize. FISH works by exploiting the ability of one DNA strand to hybridize specifically to another DNA strand. FISH works by exploiting the ability of one DNA strand to hybridize specifically to another DNA strand. And it uses small DNA strands called probes that have a fluorescent label attached to them. The probes are complementary to specific parts of a chromosome. When DNA is heated, the patient's two DNA strands break apart, or denature, and the probes are able to hybridize to their complementary sequence in the patient's DNA. If a small deletion is present in the region complementary to the probe, the probe will not hybridize. If a duplication is present, more of the probe is able to hybridize. Probe is critical to insider hybridization, and the right probe can help you achieve your goals. Not only the probe types, but also the label of probe should you take into account when you choose a probe for insider hybridization. Different probes have different characteristics. DSDNA probes are stable and easier to obtain. SSDNA probes are more specific and better and resistant to renaises. For RNA probes, they have higher thermal stability and better tissue penetration. Probes have two mainly labels, one is radioactive isotope labeling, the other is non-radioactive isotope labeling, such as biotin and fluorescent dye. There are four steps of fish, preparation of the fluorescent probes, then denaturation of the probe and the target. Next, hybridization of the probe and the target. The last is detection. Samples of fish are two categories, fixed cell suspension, formal and fixed paraffin embedded tissues. Sample predation includes sample fixation and slides. Probe is critical to insider hybridization, and the right probe can help you achieve your goals. Not only the probe types, but also the label of probe should you take into account when you choose a probe for insider hybridization. When you get the slides, the next steps are dehydration and hybridization. And the last step is detection. After the entire hybridization process, the results were examined by fluorescence microscopy. Before detection, preventing quenching is very important. Fish can be used for different areas, such as morphology, pathology, developmental biology, and karyotyping and phylogenetic analysis. Creative Bioarray provides comprehensive commercial probes and fish kits for easy to use. In addition, high-quality services are also available for our clients.